Bionicle is an action-adventure video game released in 2003. The game is based on parts of the movie Bionicle, Mask of Light and other parts of the Bionicle storyline. Initially, the game was supposed to make each Toa, Toa Nuva, and the Toa of Light playable, but due to deadlines, much of the game was dropped. However, all of the characters are playable in the Game Boy Advance version. The Mac OS X version of the game was released by Feral Interactive. Topic. Story The game follows the 2001-2003 storyline with only one obvious omission, the first part of the 2001 story, when the Toa first face Makuta, was cut out. However, many parts of the story were reduced. The game begins when the Borok are attacking Mata Nui, and spends two levels depicting Tahu and Kapaka's battles with them. After that, the game moves on to Gali Nuva's level, in which the Borok Kal are introduced, and all defeated at once by Gali. In the storyline, Tahu Nuva uses the Kanohi Vaha, Mask of Time, to allow himself and the other five Toa to defeat them. Poatu's level then depicts a midpoint. Between storylines, Poatu is delivering the news that the Raksha have awakened to Anua. Anua then defeats Larak in his level by dropping a hub unit on Larak, Lewa fights Panrak in his level, and Tahu Lava surfs after Karak, who has made off with the Mask of Light. When he catches Karak, the Mask of Light fuses itself to Takua, who becomes Takanuva Takua Nuva in the game and defeats Makuta, Lord of Shadows, in the game's final level. He transforms into Takutanuva and opens the door and awakes Mata Nui. The Turaga and Madarin only make a couple appearances, none of which are very significant to the plot. Topic. Gameplay Basic controls include using shields and light elemental blasts to defeat enemies and open canisters. Overall, there are eight levels in the game including the boss battle against Makuta. Reception Bionicle, the game received mixed to negative reviews from critics. It was given a 3.8 by IGN, and a 6.5 by Game Informer. It was criticized for repetitive gameplay, story, poor visuals, short length and complete lack of innovation. Game Informer stated that it would only be appropriate for LEGO-obsessed 8-year-olds, 